Hello, hi there. This is the most off the cuff video I've ever done on this channel. I just opened Audacity. I was just like, you know what? I need to get something out this week, okay? There needs to be a video out because I've missed the last two, which is my bad. I don't really have anything to talk about, but I guess it can be more of just like an update. And maybe as I talk, something will come out of that. So let's see. So basically, yeah, I didn't upload for the last two weeks, did I? I kind of got to a point where I've been working on this, this video, which is now three and a half. It's going to be three and a half hours long. I edit all day, edit all day. It hit like 10 p.m. on a Sunday and I'll look at my like, time and I'll be like, oh, I haven't done a second channel video yet. That basically happened the last two weeks. And it's basically happened again this week, but I'm more just like, okay, no, I'm not. It's just because I've been editing so much and I get to the end of the day and I don't really have anything to talk about. And I'm also just like fucking dead after editing all day and I'm like, uh, I don't really want to. But this week I thought I'd just give more of an update type one rather than having anything to talk about. Um, maybe I could talk about working on this video. Maybe I'll get some advice on that because I've been working on this video now for coming up to six months. Jesus Christ, it's been six months I've been working on this video. Video. And it's going to be out pretty soon, hopefully in the next 30 days or 40 days. I don't know. It's taking a while to make. But I've realized I've spent six months on this video. And I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts about making a video this long and why I think it's been... The most challenging thing I've done, probably like ever, but also I think it's going to be the most rewarding thing I've done ever. So, if you don't know, I played Spy for 100 days. I think I started on December 15th, maybe. I did 100 days of Spy, right? I spent three hours a day. I think I spent about 324 hours of TF2 over 100 days from end of December or middle of December through to, I want to say April? I think I went through to April because it took like 113 days because I took some days off. So, I spent 300 hours just doing recording, right? Then it came time to write the script of the video. I had to organize all my footage as I got it, by the way. I had to write down my KD after every game. I have over 3,000 clips and like recordings in this fucking folder, right? So, I've been organizing that as I've done it. So, the 300 hours, I'd probably say it's like 400 hours with all the footage organizing I had to do and watching footage. Potentially even more. I'll be conservative. About 400 hours. And then as soon as I finished the challenge, my personal life went kind of to shit when I was about to start writing the script. So then that kind of threw a spanner in the works. It took me a month to write this 50,000 word script, maybe a bit longer. I probably spent, what, I don't know, like 100, 100 hours? 100 hours? And I was sawing footage as well at the same time. Maybe it's like 500 hours at that point. And I've started editing it and I'm about like two weeks in editing it. Only two weeks, actually. I'm doing pretty well. I'm two weeks in editing it. I've done like an hour issue of the video 45 minutes to an hour issue of the video and it's going to take i did all the voice recording stuff as well edit all the audio which took like four days to cut out all my <laughs> all my breaths like i do for these videos so i do all that and it's just been so much work it's such a massive project and what's been so daunting about it what's scared me is that if i do a full day of work on this video eight hours let's say eight hours of work it's so inconsequential for a project of this size. Usually if I'm working on a normal video, eight hours of work, hell yeah, I've probably chunked out 15%, 10% of this video. But for a video of this scale, I finish a day's work, I look on my editing timeline and I'm like, oh my God, 1% tick off. Now I've got to do that another 90 days in a row or whatever it might be. And that's been the hardest, this is the hardest thing about a project this size, which has also taught me so much. I'm really grateful. I'm really liking the experience, but it's teaching me to be so much more patient about making a video. And this is probably applicable to like anything in life. You know, here we, here we go. I've, I've, I've come back around to it. You know, I was just giving some update. We're back to advice. I think this is the case for like anything major in life, you know, getting a new physique, transforming your body in a year. It's not going to, it's not going to take two weeks of workouts, three weeks, four weeks, even a month. Maybe after a month, you'll notice a bit, two months, you'll notice a little bit more. Three months, you might be like, hey, other people might start to know, but it's every day you put in the work, you put in a tiny bit of work. And in the grand schemes of things, it doesn't really matter. If you miss one workout, eh, if I miss one day of work, eh, but if you consistently start missing out on those things, then you're not going to reap the benefit of it by the end of it. And that's just facts. I've just really been, it's been a, mo ma a mammoth project. And it's just been really interesting, like chunking it. And just like the, the just the sheer amount of work it's required. It's just been such an eye-opening experience. I know when I go on to make shorter videos now, I'm going to have such like a different perspective of how quickly I can potentially do it. And yeah, it's, it's been a really worthwhile experience. I've been telling some other TFT YouTubers, I said, you know what? You guys should really try and make a big ass project. Maybe not as big as the one I'm making, but just a project that's like going to take ages to make. Just so it gives you like that perspective on your videos in the future. You know, you've done this massive project. I've read a, I wrote a 50,000 word script. I cut like 10,000 words off it. I wrote 60,000 words, right? A normal script of mine's like four or 5,000 words. So now when it comes to time to write a script for another video, I'm just gonna be like, oh, that's like fine. Like what? That's like actually nothing. So yeah, I think I might, do I need to cut this short soon? I have a scrim for my Sixers team like right now, I think. I'm going to join the server and keep speaking, okay? I'm sorry that this is like the most underprepared I've ever been for one of these, but I wanted to get it out, okay? I, <laughs> I wanted to get it out. Yeah, at the same time I've been editing as well, I can bring this up. I'm working, I'm playing in a Sixers team this season and we're seeded fourth out of like nine teams at the start of the season. Sorry, I might have to make a cut there just because I was getting distracted, but I'm working on this video. I kind of want to win this season of Open just so by, um, by the end of things, I might make a video out of it if we end up winning, you know, like, how oh, my team won open like whatever it's australia's best tf2 team because i think that could be a really fun video about telling the story um so i kind of i'm thinking about that so i'm putting time into that which means i'm spending less time editing 
And it's just, it's just like a mind-opening experience. Having to do something that's just so much bigger than you. I think of like people, I think of people like H-Bomber guy. So you guys know him. YouTuber. Uh, makes massive two-hour videos. And he uploads like once, twice if you're lucky a year. And I've just, I, I respect the amount of effort it takes. Especially for something like that, which is of higher quality than like the three and a half hour video I'm making. I really just respect how much effort it takes to make a video of that size. And I think it teaches you so much. Um, I think this is analogous to anything in life. If you're working out, as I said before, building towards a career, slowly upskilling yourself over time, and you're not going to see the progress necessarily that often. It's going to take weeks and months, potentially even years. And uh, yeah, you got to be patient. I think, teaching, I think this, this project has taught me to be patient. And I, I've kind of slacked because, you know, I get to the end of a day of editing and I'm like, I don't really want to make a second job here right now, which is bad. I'm sorry. So this is why this one's here. Uh, I'll be more consistent again. I'll get back on it next week uh, with a proper one with a more fleshed out thing. But I just wanted to give you guys an update that I've just been working a lot. This is like the most frazzled I've been. My mind's all over the place because of how much I'm fucking working and shit. And yeah, okay, I think my Sixers team's getting angry at me because I need a undeath for now. But anyway, I know this was like a really fucking messy one. But I just want to let you know where I'm at. I hope you're all doing well. Keep it the goals. I'm grinding away this video. I'm so excited for you guys to see it because it's going to be the biggest thing I've ever worked on. And I also hope you're doing well. So I'm going to leave things there. You know the drill. Farewell, elite level gamer.